title. Clement Towns and Scott Rude. We're going to turn our attention now to the NBA and everybody talking about Russell Westbrook topping Oscar Robertson's single season triple double record with his 42nd today. But under the radar, James Harden, he had a triple double today when the Rockets beat the Kings. He now has 21 this season. After the win, Harden was asked how important are victories in the MVP race. Yeah, I, th I thought winning was what this was about. Period. So I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to get into depth with all that, but I thought winning was the most important thing. And you know, if you put set your team, set your team up um, in a position to you know have a chance um, at the ultimate goal, then that's the most important thing. When you look at the records, the Rockets do have 54 victories, 54 and 26. Oklahoma City, on the other hand, 46 and 34. So Houston with eight more wins. That's what you expect Harden to say, Scott, but does that hold any weight now with what we've seen well, from Wes Wolf? Well, uh, let's wait two hours later. <laughs> when they're down 11 with four minutes left, he has nine assists, and he continues to shoot the ball and has the majority of the points in a ridiculous comeback. Right. Which then obviously disputes any concept that he was stat chasing. Okay. And he's in it for a win with, by the way, they're locked in West Wolf <laughs> and the Thunder at the six seed. So, so it is just game. about wins. By yeah. the way, if it is, if he wants to start holding his words uh, to accountability, well then, man, you're going to lose to Kawhi Leonard. Oh, uh, yeah, because there's somebody with more wins than you that's playing at a high level. Who, in a lot of ways, is okay. as, as important, he's certainly a better defender, and it's okay. all less than much of defense is 50% of the game. I know it we is. don't value that. We <laughs> clearly uh, overweight offense. Yep. I mean, in fact, if you're good at defense, now you're a two-way player, which means that if you're, you're not a two-way player, we just assume you're bad at defense, yep. which is not always the case. But I, back to, to Westbrook. Um, it's case by case, and, and, and I mean, you can break it down to he had 10 turnovers in this triple double. Okay. You could turn it down to Westbrook hit a game winner. You could turn it That's down huge. to that he's averaging a triple double. Yeah. There's so many things we're going to have to figure out. I just think that I think that we're, it's not going to make much sense if they don't give it to the guy who averaged a triple double. Let me ask you this, though. Is there anything that Harden can do? I put this scenario out there earlier. You remember when David Robinson yeah. was going for the scoring so title? So he scores 70. Right? We saw the Devin Booker score 70. So what if James Harden yeah. drops a 70 ball? I, I'm pretty cemented to Westbrook. How are you? Have you switched? Because you've been in Harden up to the, like yeah. April Fool's Day. Where are we right now in this? Westbrook is making it awful tough. I mean, you would have to be almost a fool not to choose right. Russell Westbrook. I'm still going to withhold my final decision these last two games because yeah. if Harden drops a 70 ball, okay. you know what? I still will have a strong case.